Hey everyone, K Pro here once again. Today we have a new unboxing video for you guys. Today we have the IGN crate from Nerdblock. So let's get right to it. I believe this box was like $49.95 after shipping or something like that. So it was quite a expensive crate, I would say. But uh yeah. Let's see if I can just cut open. Alright. There you go. First thing we see. A bunch of stuff. That looks like, oh, that's Resident Evil. IGN stuff. A book kind of thing. What's this? Subscribe today, get 20% off your first arcade block with this promo code. Huh. Cool. Let's see. Oh, it is the different crates nerd block has, I guess. Eh. Whatever. So first off, let's see what we have. Uh, something here which is apparently Wrestling Evil kind of looking. Receiving Evil 20th Anniversary. I guess it's some sort of figure. Exclusive item, Nemesis. Cool. Wonder how you open it. Oh, okay. Well, at least it's not tape, which is good because if it was tape, it's going to be annoying to do so. Oh, it's a kind of little statue. Mini statue, 20th Anniversary Nemesis. Oh, this guy was in the Marvel vs. Capcom game, I believe. Cool. I'm not a big... Um... What's it name? I'm not a big, uh, Resident Evil fan, so... Don't know much about it. There's a t-shirt here. Ooh, there's some good stuff on there, too. Let me get this. Hold on. That's a Deadpool t-shirt. I'm assuming this is exclusive from what I've heard. This crate was supposed to be filled with exclusive stuff. So, Deadpool t shirt. Not bad. Do we have next? Ooh, there's a pop there too. We got World of Warcraft Black Journal of Pocket 192 pages of dragons. Oh, so this is like a little journal notebook, kind of. Not bad. And I uh, do need to remind, this crate was four pounds heavy, apparently. What the hell? They really folded this? Oh, come on. You're not supposed to fold freaking stickers. This is stupid. Oh, well, IGN sticker. Kind of messed up because it's folded. I guess. Oh well. Next we have the War Warcraft Ogrim. Now this would have been a good item, I would say, if it was exclusive. I believe he's pretty common uh, the rest of the pops. Yeah, he's common. Uh, I'm not really... Oh, there's a crease in the back here you guys can see. What the hell? Yeah, whatever. Take care for it. <clears throat> Next, we have, we have an IGN pin. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. If my workplace was still um, using, I can't even think of the name. I'll get back to it once I remember. Uh, this is a little tote bag, I believe. IGN tote bag. Cool. Lanyards. Yeah, that's what that's the word. If my workplace was still using lanyards. I would maybe put that pin in. Unfortunately, we don't. We use magnetic name tags now. Yeah, Street Fighter V patch. Pretty cool. Hmm. 
Awesome. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a shirt punch. Ten dollar credit. New card. Oh, it's a code. I can't show it to you guys because I might use it, but it's some sort of code. Yeah. Ten dollar credit. So yeah. Awesome. What's next? The hell's what is it? Playing cards? Ooh, this is playing cards. I'm actually interested in opening to see what this is. Yeah, give me one minute. I'll be right back. This is actually can't really open in one hand. So give me a minute and I will be back with this opened. Two hours later. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the cards open, so there's only a few card changes. Um, aside from that, the back of the card is just an emblem from Nerd Block. Uh, the ones that changes are Joker, the A's, um, Kings, Queens, and Jacks are normally the only ones that changed. So let's take a look. Jokers, um, the A. Uh, you got. Link, it's a Jack. You got Zelda, that's the Queen. Ganon, that's the King. The other A, which is um the alien from Samus Metroid. Making a mess here, and I but whatever. Jack is Samus. Queen is Zero Suit Samus. <clears throat> H is this weird dragon looking. I'm assuming that's also some sort of boss from Metroid. The next ace is a uh, mushroom, I guess it's upside down. Whatever reason he is. Jack is Mario the Mushroom and the Plunger. Queen is <clears throat> Peach with his, the Fire Star, the Fire Sunflower, I guess. King is uh, Bowser. The next A is a Leaf. I don't know why the whole cards are all upside down. What the hell? Uh, the Leaf from Animal Crossing. Oh, look at that. They actually become leaves. Interesting for spades. A uh, villager as the jack. The other villager as the queen. And I believe this is... Tom? I can't remember. From Animal Crossing as king. So, yeah. Those are the cards. So, give me a minute so I can pick this up. I, this is just a mess. Three weeks later. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, picked up the cards. Messed around a little bit. Try to clean up a little bit on here. <clears throat> so you guys can see. Sure, the rest of the stuff that we already unpacked. Next we have this. This is a classic controller. USB controller for PC and Mac. Which is actually kind of cool. Um... I guess, yeah, it's, you can put this and play PC games, I guess. Never seen one of this before. Play on any PC or Mac with a USB port. Always dreamt of using your NES controller with your favorite PC game. Now you can retrofit it by RetroBit. This RetroLink USB controller plugs into any PC or Mac with a USB port, giving you that classic NES feel, whether you're about to go on one. Go toe to toe with Koopa or racking up frags on the hottest PC multiplayer. And then you can go old school with every weapon in your arsenal. Play on PC or Mac with USB support. All buttons can be configured. 
we leave uh, relive the classic NES experience on two games. This actually might be the only cool thing, but then again, how much is, does this go for in the market? I've never seen them before. Plug and play, USB enabled, six feet cable. It's not that long. Hmm. What's this? Oh, that's the little thing for the hang on peg. I'm gonna research this to see how much this is actually worth. I mean, if this is actually worth a lot of money, this box might be worth it, but still. Uh, not honestly. Once again, they're blocked, disappointing me. Not a lot of things I like from this box, so. Um, then this is a comic? Yep, this is comic. Well, it's kind of. Oh, never mind. I was going to say it's a hardcover? No, it's not. It's just a freaking cardboard behind. Uh, this is a Deuce X Universe Children's Crusade. I did not know they actually made a uh, comic on Deuce X. Pretty cool. And I think next we have the autograph by. I don't wanna butcher her name. Uh, well, at least her that name. Well, Alana, Alana, Alana. Uh, awesome girl. She, I think she I think it's been a year or so. Then she just recently started with IGN. Um, uh, but yeah, autograph of her. Pretty cool. And then, actually, I do remember that now. I think she announced it on. Somewhere, I don't know, I don't know it's somewhere that she had her autograph in this box. Okay, what's this? This looks like Link and his horse. It's kind of like a little poster thing. Pretty cool. Not bad. And then, I believe this is just another advertisement. Oh, this is just the content. So, we have exclusive Deadpool t-shirt. Uh, Funko Pop Van. Oh, so I had a chance of getting a, um, this limited edition IGN block features either a Warcraft or for, for uh, Ogrim or the T60 armor. Damn it, I would have honestly preferred the T60 armor because I think I'm missing him. I think. Damn, my luck. Always. Uh,. As a special bonus, we include these exclusive arcade block items featured in the past blocks. I want to give you the goodness. Oh, so I guess the deck of cards and this figure of Nemesis is not new. It's from a past box, I guess. Uh, then we got the label pen. Uh, the variants comic of Deuce X. What else we have next? <clears throat> got the exclusive tote bag. Rushmu, Rushmoor, Epona's Song, Prince the Legend of Zelda. Well, that's actually, well, that makes sense. Still cool, print. So I actually would like to keep that. Uh, Journal. Oh, crap. You see, my luck again. I honestly would not have mine. The Fallout Journal or uh, Gears of War. But. Then there's, I guess, as there's five of them that I could randomly get chosen for, and I got chosen for World of Warcraft. Something I don't play. That's great. Uh, NES USB game controller, uh, bumper sticker, uh, so it's random? I thought I was guaranteed to get uh, El Elena, Elena print, or... Autograph. This comprises of uh, uh, a special treat. We're giving you exclusive autograph from from one of the folks in Galilee. Oh, so did I just get lucky? Cause I've actually thought I had read somewhere that it was a guarantee autograph from her. Huh. That's weird. Unless they they changed it. After, that's why she announced it after this was made. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways. So let's take a look at a uh, recap of what we got. We've got the print, we've got the autograph, the t-shirt, tote bag, journal, comic, bumper sticker, coupon code, Ogrim Pop, uh, advertisement, ticket, or cardboard, 
Nemesis statue, deck of cards, Street Fighter patch, label pin, NES controller. So that's how many items that? That's, let's see. Let's go back from the beginning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen items. Not bad. Um, yeah. Once again, Nerd Block can utter. You see, the first Nerd Block box I got, I think, it was like the Emerald City one, and that was a complete disappointment. I did not barely liked anything on it. Gave it a really low rating. Um, I actually, you guys should check it out. I may link it in the description. Um, so, you guys can check it out how disappointed I was. This one isn't that bad. I like the print. T shirt's okay. Uh, autograph is alright. Um, comic is okay. Journal is alright. Tote bag, man. Pop. Uh, I, I do collect pops, but I mean, I guess I'll just use that as a trade or something. I doubt anybody wants it, but it's common as hell. Nemesis statue, I guess that's alright. Deck of cards, it's okay. Pin is alright as well. Uh, patch, it's okay. Controller is kind of cool. So. What would I rate this box? Zero being worse, ten being awesome. I would maybe give this box a six, six and a half, especially with how much I pay for it. I understand why the box was so heavy. I mean, four pounds in the box. I'm surprised. But uh, explains why it's four pounds though. But regardless, uh, I'll give it a six out of ten. In my opinion. Did I say six? Did I say six and a half? I hope I'm not. Final score. I'm giving six out of ten. So feel free to leave in the comment section what you guys would rate this box. Uh, let me know what items you guys did like seeing that was in this box and what you guys would prefer instead. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick. Well, it's not. It, this is actually not quick. I think this is over ten minutes already of video, and I think this is the, my first video I've actually had to do two pauses on it. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, unboxing video. Uh, leave in the comments, uh, like I said, the ratings and what you guys liked and what you guys would have replaced with some of the items for instead. Um, like this video if you guys enjoyed. Share with your friends for those who enjoy watching unboxing videos. I actually personally do watch a couple of mother YouTubers. And subscribe for more content coming soon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon.